Hello and welcome back to the Gorilla Biker. Today what we're going to be talking about is something I have spoken about before and I have wanted to talk about. Also, hello, hello, say hello to Boo. Is it Boo? She's afraid of the camera. You want to say hello to the camera, Boo? She, uh, she hasn't been making many appearances because it was too cold in the shed for a long time, but she's back now. She followed me down here today. Anyway, we're going to be talking about hearing protection. This is a new type of video I'm trying to do, which is going to be quick and to the point. Um, so without further ado, we're going to break down uh, the type of hearing protection I'm going to be talking about in a minute. Uh, but first, why is hearing protection so important on bikes? Well, it's quite simple really because, and it's not the bikes, right? Everyone thinks bikes are loud. Bikes are loud, but most bikes um, don't really exceed 100 decibels at your, your, your average cruising speeds, like 100 kilometers an hour. It's not the bikes, it's the wind noise. Next time you're out in your loud bike, if you own a loud bike, um, pay attention to actually can you even hear your exhaust anymore, because you very likely can't. Um, at 100 kilometers an hour, most wind noise, unless you live in like a super silent area uh, with, with very light air, it exceeds 100 decibels, like 103 to 115 decibels. Now to put that into perspective, uh, like a jet taking off um, is less than 115 decibels, I think. Not important. The important bit is, this is enough to do permanent hearing damage uh, in, un in under 15 minutes, sometimes as low as seven minutes, depending on the noise volume. And that's just from wind noise. Now, also the other thing about wind noise is it sucks. It, it sounds horrible. No, no one wants to hear wind noise. It's not a pleasant, it's not a pleasant note. So, um, you know, you should wear hearing protection. Like people always tell me, oh, you're not wearing the right foot gear. You're not wearing the right gloves, etc. You know, people telling me to, to at GAT, um, I, I don't. Uh, I've made videos about that before, but the one thing I do always try to, hey boo, is uh, wear hearing, hearing protection because a little bit of background, I actually have hearing damage. I've had hearing damage since I was a child. I had uh, loads of ear, hearing, he, ear infections, which led to burst eardrums uh, and inner ear damage, I think, on this ear, this ear, yeah. And like, you station tube scarring so it doesn't drain as much. Um, this is all words doctors told me uh, over, over the years. I've burst this over, over 10 times anyway. Um, and the hearing this year sucks. And let me tell you, bad hearing sucks. It's really frustrating. Uh, I watched a good film recently that um, a guy was losing his hearing and he got really, really frustrated and pissed off because he couldn't hear. And that is exactly how it is when you can't hear people in a crowded room. And that is the first thing I found to go was crowded room, couldn't hear my friends anymore, couldn't hear people anymore. So I will put uh, the name of that film on screen because it really got across the frustration of bad hearing uh, really well. And my hearing isn't even that bad. So, and I've protected, I've tried to protect it because I don't want to make it any worse. So, so first off, what we can have is these type of phone, foam ear plugs. You just roll them up, put them in your ear. They're supposed to be single use. I'll show you how to put them in in a second. Second off, you got these Alpine kind of silicone ones. I uh, hope there's no earwax on these. There's not. So this is this is another type um, that you can have there. These are just multiple use. You're supposed to clean them and keep them there. And I've used them for a long, long time. I actually bought that set in Franklin Motorcycles in Dublin. More recently, I really wanted to um, you know, wear my ear hearing protection while I was making my videos because I these make me feel ill when I speak uh, in the helmet and these make me feel kind of nauseous as well when I speak. Um, so I never wore them when I was making vlogs, which is a lot of the time, so I stopped. Then I got some custom ear protection made, hearing protection made, I should say. Focus. And these I got made in a place in Ireland called Spec Savers. But you can get these made just about, just about anywhere. So what it is, is a custom molded earpiece, uh, which looks like this. And really, really easy to use. These are uh, custom molded. They work really, really well. I've used these at the track and everything now so far, and they really, really work well. So the other beautiful thing about it is, um, hearing protection like this, this blocks out everything. So you can't hear your car though anymore, you can't hear your music, you can't hear your bike, you can't hear your friends talk to you. These suck. These work a lot better, uh, these ones, because they have this little hole in them. So there's a little, little teensy little hole in the center, um, which, is, which is actually really good. And that lets a certain amount of volume through. And then you'll see, what was that? Who wants to go out one minute? I'll let her out in a second. And then you can see these ones have even more uh, holes and perforations in them. This is to let good noise through. So basically what, we're tr what we try to do with hearing protection is just reduce the damaging amount. So 
I think I think most hearing protection can reduce by up to 35. Um, but basically, let's just let's just run through how you put these in um, to explain why I much much prefer these ones. So first and foremost, the foam ones. Um, these are my least favorite. I don't like them at all. I think they block out too much noise. They block out like feeling from your ear. Break off that. And I, I just don't like them. I don't think they work well. But how you use them is you roll them up like that. Pull up the top of your ear with your opposite hand and place them into your ear hole and just hold it. Hold it for like, hold it for like 20 seconds and, and then it'll fill up and fill up your ear. So I'll just hold this and we'll come back. Oh, little Boudel. Look over here, look. Look. Look at the camera. No? Look at it. So that's fully filled up my ear now. You can see that's in there and it's kind of filling up my, my ear. And it, even speaking now, it's just unpleasant. So I'm gonna take that out. To take them out, pinch them and twist them. Um, it's a lot more comfortable than just, uh, you know, yanking them out because that can be quite uncomfortable and can remove a lot of earwax with the pressure buildup. Next is the silicon ones, these reusable ones. These are essentially the same. Pull up the ear, shove them in, and you're done. They're actually a lot easier because you don't have to wait for them to expand and fill and to take them out again, pinch and twist, and you're done. So these are a lot easier to put in um, and they work They work well. I mean, as a, as a budget option, I would personally suggest the silicone ones because they're reusable, um, they're easy to clean and they work. And then lastly, my personal favorites, um, these new custom ones and how these work is there's a little, little tab Oh, can you see that? See that little tab up there at the top? That little tab uh, is the up one. And then there's a red, see there's a red on that? A little red writing. Red means, uh, focus on my face. Red means right here, so you literally just hold that up, shove it in, that's it, it's done. So you can see that's fitted right in there now. And they're really comfortable to talk to. I'll even pop in the other one. So, and see does my volume change. So I have the two of these in now, um, I can still, you know, hear myself speak. It's not like everything's vibrating around my head. I don't feel nauseous like the other ones. Um, you know, they work They work really well. And I, to be honest, look, I've used these on a track day. I've used them quite a lot now commuting up and down to work. They're really comfortable and they actually improve how much I can hear my car though and my music in the mornings, which is phenomenal. It's something I'm absolutely delighted with. I'm really, really happy um, that it worked out that like that. So the question I'm assuming everyone wants to know is how much they cost. These custom ones were 150 euro. That's a lot of money, but I personally think it's worth it. It's why I invested in it. Um, my hearing is important and they're gonna last me a long time. These uh, foam ones, you can buy like a big tub of them for not very much money at all, um, but I hate them and I wouldn't recommend using them because I think they suck. I think they block out too much noise. They're uncomfortable. They're not really a clean application because you're gonna reuse them. You're gonna pop them in and out when you're stopping. And as soon as you pop them out and touch them again, they really, they pick up dirt um, really quickly. Whereas, you know, the, the custom ones and, and also the silicon ones, you can wipe clean. The silicon ones, you can get a pair of Alpine Safe uh, for between 20 and 40 euro. Some of them go up to 60. It really depends on the grade of protection. Um, I know Alpine Moto Safe, they're not expensive. So if you want a cheaper option that isn't custom fitted, uh, you can absolutely go for these silicon ones. I would recommend them. I use them for years. Alpine, Motosafe, um, also highly recommend. That's why they're on my keys. They've been there for years and I've used them for years. They work well. The only thing was I wasn't using them while I was making videos, so they just couldn't stay. So that's it. That is the end of the video. Um, my, the thing I will leave you with is if you can afford it, if you ride your bike a lot, um, I would absolutely recommend getting a pair of custom earplugs. Um, they made a huge difference to me. They're far more comfortable, um, which, which makes me wear them more, which in turn means my hearing is better protected because I actually bother to put them into my ears. So yeah, that's it. Um, nothing in this video was sponsored. I paid for everything that I showed you, except the foam, excuse me, foam ear plugs, which I borrowed from work. Borrowed. Um, <laughs> I'll put them back after I use them. We get loads of them for free and work anyway, to use during the day, so it's not a big deal. But anyway, um, if you found this video helpful, please do let me know. Um, don't let yourself get permanent hearing damage. Get yourself a pair of silicon ones at the very least. Um, I don't recommend the foam ones, I don't like them. I know some people use them and some people use them successfully for a long time, I really don't like them. Um, so silicon ones, I recommend them, but if you can afford it, I highly recommend getting a set of custom earplugs. They fit so much better, they're way more comfortable, 
They make me hear my music better on the way up and down to work, and they've just, they've made my writing experience better, which is a huge thing. Um, so anyway, if you've made it this far, please leave me a comment, please leave me a like, please subscribe if you're new here and you'd like to see more. Uh, as always, a very special thanks to my patrons. Um, I know this is something I talked to one of you about and you're interested to hear about the custom earplugs. Highly recommend them. They worked out really well. Very happy with them. Expensive, yes. Worthwhile, also yes. And yeah, until next time, thank you very much for watching. Adios. Outro crew. Isn't the class where they were orange? Like, I, I went in and I got these, I got fitted up for these and I was like, hey, uh, what color are they? And uh, the lady in Specsavers, Lisa, what's her name? Uh, she was like, oh yeah, no, they come in orange. And I was like, ah, oh, sweet, that's, that's the color I was gonna ask for anyway. So uh, that worked out well. If you were to get a pair of custom earplugs, what color would you pick? There you go, that's the question, bye.